opportunity for us to work with these eminent scholars. Uh, so that I would like to express my thanks to Sandra sir and hello sir to give a chance to work with these scholars and also to Shama sir because he always forcing us to work with different subjects and more on mathematics. Already we we saw discussed that we should work together on Kerala astronomy and mathematics, mainly on mathematics. And if we get any support from your side, we can do better. Thank you.
which studies Sanskrit and Malayalam, which studies Tamil and Malayalam, all these Bilapur textual communities, which are purely dealing with abstract mathematics, are dealing with these things, they can also be ethnographically studied. They also, for example, social history does means that does not mean just a documentation of what are the terms which are mentioned in manuscripts or inscription or it also means how this textual community. We have the evidence of a textual community in so that textual community also needs to be studied how their social history and social practice has to be. So we have to be very conscious in the sense that it is a social history project, not a textual or philological project. So any community, a textual community which does this kind of a philological research has to be studied in this social point of view and may be aware that what they are really doing. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I want to add a point uh, supporting it Madhu and then this answer. Actually, uh, most of these scholars working on textual, but not textual practices or how to this culture. We usually, Madhu and Samare, myself and Ayati, we used to discuss about it. Even medical field, even for other craft field also, these alternative, uh, even I don't know, it's the right way to mention alternative, but these are not textual or uh, practical, these community knowledges were not brought into mainstream. Or we already considered certain knowledges as a mainstream and other knowledges were not into that. Uh, for example, community study in Coimbatore and even Tamil Nadu local receptor communities are there. In particular, I am not talking about cow shepherd, that is the sheep shepherd community. They have their own type of mathematical knowledge. They used to say in there. Uh, uh, after attending this conference, a uh, workshop, when I came to know that how they are using, I am not much uh, aware of that, but after these mathematical uh, conferences, it made me to go back to that community again uh, to study. They have the intake, that is the word means the particular type of sheep, uh, not particular type, particular uh, numbers of sheep. So they have that fellow have two intake, one intake, like that, they have the numbers. And they have the cat up or the resting that in the place, particular things. So they have the particular type of the measurement for these particular things and how many of uh, sheep for that particular day and that calculation they have. Then also blanket making is a thing. And uh, they have their own way of measurements of this. Uh, wool and making the length of the blankets and width and the thing they have. And now, now I think the older generations, I think they have, but uh, now, now the current generation, go, uh, I think they don't know that. And that older generations have that knowledge system, I think that also can be recorded. Uh, and in that case, we can bifurcate it into two groups. That is one very interested for the textual oriented that people can go to mass collections and study from that. And others, those who wanted to study like these type of society community practices, and they can go for the field work and study for the background and the, the documenting their knowledge and how this knowledge produced or moved from generation to generation. And this thing we can do because if one or two generations we goes there, I think we don't get that type of knowledge because now current generation like our type of people, we are using cages, we are using the like that people earlier used to go for even for shepherding they used to go for palakar if you want to go to palakar at a particular period of time and they go for a particular period of season they go for Mysore by walking earlier period of time even now some families are following and now some is taking the lorries to run so that length how they calculated are maybe keep it in mind uh, that's all our non-textual traditions that's all the in socialist mathematical practices Thank you. Just to add on to what uh, Kanu and uh, Kareem and Ajit said, that there is this ethnological dilemma within the academics. So, there is, for example, for me, the last one year, the question is when we are trying to study this artisans or craftsman community, we always have the dilemma that, say, for example, we always have this question in mind, okay, we are studying about this urban craftsman community, okay, how we use the Colonial construct, constructed research tools. Let's do an ethnography and document what we are doing. So that's how we try to go about it. So we go to this as a scholars or as a practitioners, as a rigorous academic, uh, academicians. We don't somehow balance this. So whether we want to follow the standardized textual traditions or we are going to deconstruct the uh, textual traditions and going to put this as a uh, uh, a much more superior position. Or else we don't want to have a question whether they are going to carry away whether it is an alternative or it is an unalternative or whether it is mainstream. 
because by doing this exercise we are again perpetuating or we are again entering into a danger domain we more or less try to go, going to put one more category so for example this set of things is going to be the next big thing which is which the vocabulary is going to cast uh, uh, resist again so we have to somehow make this balance and because we have somehow make uh, space more democratic where we have to accommodate material as well because we more of us tend to hear the manuscript from the center of the class again this tradition is around the world of a substantial look and document to actually get out of the game where some authority is already established so somehow we have to push the boundary little bit or open to other sources as well how we can actually document those uh, sources and get as a description how we can actually source this to make much more research in the practitioners perspective because it's again become the academic academicians versus practitioners though they are trying to align with the practitioners side we tend to move away from that perspective of knowledge now just a few comments on this because it's very interesting uh, discussion because i mean if you look at the history history and the mathematics are the two tools have been used to exploit the voiceless people history and mathematics i mean for instance i mean in terms of the uh, system existed in our society in terms of uh, uh, sharing wealth sharing property commodity whatever it is uh, in a terms of reciprocity whatever it is, whatever the form so without knowing understanding kanaka or exploiting the uh, you know the proper understanding of mathematics that is why a kind of uh, victimization happened and the history also used as a wonderful great tool to exploit the people to our voices so our attempt should be give voice to the voices by uh, reconstructing the social history that is what i add so it is very political intervention also Mentioned that there is a counterpoint question actually. If you look at the educational domain, why uh, novice learner is actually get alienated from the subject which has been uh, studied in the classroom process? The content of the subject itself is actually more of an academic uh, point of view. So, for example, the aim of the education itself is to become academic, not become practitioner. So that itself is actually alienating, more or less neglecting all the uh, people who wanted to come into the uh, educational process. So that's so we can actually repeat this social history point where much of their practices are actually uh, embedded within the curriculum where people will get uh, attached to the uh, the content which they are actually getting through the mainstream education. So that's so this the, the project can be a much larger project where teacher educators and the teachers becomes the main facilitator, not the mere transmitter of the knowledge. So where this preaching comes into the picture, where this more or less this uh, philosophy of education question comes in, where they are simply uh, preaching everything, it's not a matter of questioning everything. So that's how we can, uh, we can actually move the boundary a little bit in a larger manner where everybody can be accommodated and it become a public history. Thank you all for this uh, discussion, and uh, I don't think one needs to summarize the discussion. We all know what's been happening, but I'll just say one thing, and then we'll wind up. Uh, going by the nature of the discussion and by the commitment that you all have shown, I take it for uh, for a consent that we will try and develop this community, practitioners, historians, and colleagues, wherever you are, whatever we have. Uh, expertise respectively that we will try and build this uh, community over the next few years that we got the resources for and I request kindly request all of you to contribute from whatever perspective that you think is important and then how do we educate ourselves through the new questions asking the old questions in a new manner and then how not to file fall into binaries how how to ask new questions 
So I think we will continue to do this as a matter of routine practice and uh, we will try and coordinate it. the community here as a group as we go along, probably by email or whatever we follow and try and also meet regularly on a regular basis in order to <coughs> So thank you all for being here for the two days on behalf of the French Institute, Itiha Zurich and for uh, general community of historians and mathematics from all over the world. I thank you all for coming. Those who are staying back, have a nice time in Pondi. Those who are leaving tonight, have a stay in Chennai. Yeah. Thank you.